some things I've been wanting to talk about. How much we waste in this country, especially. In America, we throw away so much food, supplies, clothing. It's kind of mind boggling. And the things that get me the most are the ones where people throw away one form of something and then go out and buy the same thing prepackaged and new instead of saving what they already had. Like cotton balls. If you get vitamins or supplements, so many of them have a cotton ball stuffed down inside so the pills don't rattle in the jar. And most people open up the jar and pull the cotton ball out, throw it away. Then they go down to the store. Jenny wants to talk. They go down to the store and they buy a bag of cotton balls. I don't remember the last time I bought cotton balls. I pull the cotton ball out of my supplement bottle and unless it's something that's really dusty and nasty or smells bad, I put the cotton ball in a little baggie in the bathroom and we have cotton balls. Clearly they're not sterile cotton balls, but for things like taking off your nail polish or I don't know, that's like the only thing I use cotton balls for. So it works perfectly for that. I didn't have to buy anything. I didn't throw anything away. I used something I already had. Bacon grease is a good one. People pour off their bacon grease and they throw it away. And then they go buy something that's terrible for them, like canola oil or some other seed oil, which if you still think that those are healthy for you, you should probably do some more research. But bacon grease is perfect for frying things in. If you make fried potatoes or I don't know, you're gonna fry up some greens I don't normally bake with it because it's got a strong flavor, but we save all of our bacon grease. And you know, when I'm making special breakfasts, if I'm frying up fritters or donuts, we fry it all in bacon grease. It does not give it a weird taste. It actually fries up beautifully. And bacon grease is actually better for you than canola oil or corn oil or any of those things. It's also a free byproduct of the bacon that you already cooked. And instead of throwing it away or clogging your drain with it, save it, cook with it. It's a beautiful thing. This one may seem slightly ridiculous, but the little packets of ketchup or peppers or whatever you get if you go out to eat or you bring food home, you do fast food, whatever. They always send condiments with whatever you get and people just throw them away. Why? They're a perfectly useful food. No, I don't suggest leaving them rattling around your silverware drawer forever. I keep them in a jar. I separate them out. We have a mason jar full of ketchup, one full of mustard, uh, the little crushed red peppers, little soy sauce packets, hot sauce packets. Everything has its own little jar. When we used to go camping a lot, I just kept them in our travel trailer because it was a perfectly reasonable way to have servings of condiments in the travel trailer. We don't go camping nearly as much anymore, so I just keep them in the house. But if you're out of ketchup or anything else, oh look, there's a little jar of little baby packets and there's nothing wrong with them. Why throw them away? Use them. Again, they're a 
basically free byproduct of something you already paid for. They also typically throw in napkins and extra plasticware a lot of times. And people throw all that away. Why? Take the napkins, put them in a zip Ziploc baggie or whatever you want, and then you have napkins. Don't buy paper napkins. Have them to go on a picnic or keep them in your car, or wherever you might need paper napkins. There's zero reason to throw them away. The little plasticware, same thing. Save it for a picnic or a barbecue or whatever, but instead of going out and buying the giant box somewhere, just save the stuff you get in something you already paid for. We have a culture of waste and we really need to get away from the culture of waste, especially if our economy keeps going the way it is and our supply chain issues continue the way they are, you need to make the most of what you have. People buy rags. Why not just turn your old towels or t-shirts or whatever you might have that you're going to throw away into rags? They're already there, you already paid for them, you're extending their life. All of these things make financial sense. They make sense just in the way of not wasting, of using what you've got, of being a good steward of what you've got. So just some ideas of some things you might not have thought of that you don't need to be buying constantly at the store you probably already have something at home that can replace it or at least supplement it. Have a great day.